Hello my friends, today we're back in Luminar Neo and we are going to take a deeper look into the High Key tool. The High Key tool you will find in, you'll find it into your toolbox under the portraits and it's right here on the bottom. It says High Key. Now let's take a little bit um let's look at what high key images look like. This is some high key images. As you can see, most of them has this like very light and airy, bleached, a little bit desaturated look. Not these two images, this will be, we're gonna turn them into high key. And you can see the portraits usually have like a more pale, desaturated skin tones, not a lot of blacks. And um, in order to understand this tool better, I think it's important to uh, learn what high key lighting is because high key photography refers to the light key, high key lightning. And I'm just gonna read you this from the internet because I think it's a better way to make you understand than me just trying to explain it. High key lighting, it's a style of lighting for film, television, or photography that aims to reduce the lighting ratio present in the scene. This was originally done partly for technological reasons since early film and television did not deal well with high contrast ratio, but now it is used to suggest an upbeat mood. So let's see how it works and every slider, what it does. We'll go over. So when you first open high key uh, tool, you will have the amount slider. Amount slider is just the intensity of which this effect is getting applied. So the more you move it to the right, the more intense this effect will be. As you can see, as we move it to the right, the image becomes less contrasty, more bleached. The blacks are getting lifted. So is the shadows and the skin tones becomes quite unsaturated. Let's move to the next slider. Next sli slider is standard high key. And this is the one that is the most aggressive of the high key presets. So if you move it to the right, you can see 100%, it kind of really blows out the highlights and uh, all the way to the left, all the way to the right. This is very, very aggressive. It's more like a global adjustment, affects everything in the image. I'm gonna move it all the way to the left and the next one is dynamic high key. This is a high key effect that it's a little bit smarter. It takes in consideration uh, skin tones and it's a little bit more subtle, not so aggressive as the standard high key. So if I move this all the way to 100, you will see the skin tones remain pretty natural and it doesn't blow out so much highlights as the standard high key does. So it's a more gentle way of applying a high key. Usually you can even go to 100% here, you get a pretty natural, decent looking result. Blacks is our blacks in the image. And if we move it to the left, we can add more black to create more contrast. And if we move it to the right, we're lifting the blacks and the blacks becomes more gray. Next, we have the advanced settings. And in the advanced settings, we have glow. Now, if you watch my other video, how to turn on lights on the street posts and car lights and all that stuff, you know we use glow because glow affects the highlights. And what it does, it takes the highlights in the image and kind of applies like a Gaussian blur and just blurs it out and expands it into a nice glow. So if you move, if you move the glow to the right, you're getting this kind of like hazy, nice, you know, blurry effect. Too much, you will just make your image unusable. But a little bit of glow usually gives a nice effect. Contrast, it applies contrast globally to the whole image. So you see contrast when you move it to the left, it decreases contrast. When you move it to the right, it increases in contrast. What contrast does, it makes the light parts lighter and the dark parts darker. And then you have saturation if you wanna add back some color if you think it bleached it too much. So this is all the sliders and how to use high key. Now let me show you something else. How would you do a high key image if you do not have Luminar Neo and a high key slider? I'm gonna show you the way I usually do it when I do it in Photoshop. I have this image over here. It's not a high, uh, high key image at all. It's not even a great image, but let's see what we can do with it if we can make it high key. So the first thing I like to do with this image, I will turn it into black and white. Just convert to black and white and I'm not gonna mess with any of these adjustments. We don't need a nice creative black and white. We just need a black and white version of it. Once you have your black and white version, you will go to file, and export and you can export this black and white image save it into your desktop i already have done this before so i have it into my desktop once you exported your black and white version of it go back to actions over here and revert to original so we get our image back so, so this is the image we started with now 
let's apply the high key effect. I will go to the layers, I will click on the plus, and now I want to load my black and white image that I just exported. So I will click on it and say open. And now it will show up into your My Images. If you want to load it as a layer, you double click on it and it will load as a layer. You see if we move the opacity to 100%, we have our black and white image on top of our colored image. Now, because we want to create that high key effect, we want to light the, make the image lighter. So for that, we will change the blending mode to one of our light and blending modes and we'll use screen for this one. This is too much, so you can reduce the opacity and this is how you control how much you wanna, how much lighter you wanna make this image. So let's go with something like this. So now this is our before and after, before and after. Now let's say we lost too much contrast and we want to add a little bit more contrast into the image. How would we do that? Well, I'll go back to my layers, click on the plus, and I will load the same layer, the black and white layer. You can see this is our black and white image on top of the other two layers. So now we will change the blending mode to one of these three blending modes that creates contrast, overlay, soft light, or hard light. And I will choose soft light for this. And there you go. I'll reduce the opacity to something that looks good. And let's see, if I hide this layer, this is before contrast, and this is with contrast. So the first layer we used on screen blending mode to brighten the image, and then the second black and white image, we, are, we used it in soft light blending mode to add some contrast. And this is our, our whole image, this is before, this is the after, before and after, and this is how I would use um, high key, processing into when I use Photoshop or Affinity Photo or whatever other program you want to use. I hope this was useful and you learned something new today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing and I will see you in my next video.